about to cross or is in right now crossing Highway 411. Now, where I am currently at is under a winter storm warning where snow accumulations of one to three inches are possible. Plenty of sunshine out there. Go ahead, grab your shades. I mean, it's here it is definitely not feeling like fall, more like false fall, if you ask me. Not only has it been hot, but that humidity has been cranking out there. Some type of moisture to kind of help us bust this drought. So is that coming? Is that on the way? We're looking for some sky water. And on Facebook, you've been hearing about this system coming into the Gulf. What's going on behind Fiona? So let's take a look. We've got our speed hours right now. We've got that 40% chance of rain around 2 a.m. Should be out of there by the time you and the kiddos wake up to go to work and to catch the bus on the way in the morning. For the National Hurricane Center, winds are up to 75 miles an hour, just crossing that threshold as a category one. Now it's gonna move off north northeast at 10 miles an hour. We're gonna track that out for you. Making Sanford Stadium right now, feeling real good, about five degrees above average. We're gonna watch Thursday and Friday carefully over the next couple days because this will change depending on the track of subtropical storm Nicole. So we, right now we've got the temperatures in the mid to upper 60s with a 40% chance on Thursday and a 60% chance on Friday. But as I mentioned, we are going to get that relief because as we head through the beginning of next week, we're gonna see temperatures drop down into the lower 50s. It's gonna be feeling like January by the time we get to the early next week. Good evening, Athens. I'm student meteorologist Malik Bryant here back again with your evening forecast. We've got the current conditions over Sanford Stadium, and you can even see we've got the video board running down there. Let's go, dogs. Number one in the nation. 91 degrees right now outside at Sanford Stadium. Feels like 92 degrees. Humidity's not that bad. It is just hot. It's just hot out there because we've been under this ridge of high pressure that's currently centered over Texas. It's been keeping us warm and it's been keeping us dry as well. And you can even see Fiona down there in the bottom corner. So what about Fiona? What has she been up to? What is she doing? Let's take a look at her in the tropical Atlantic. So right now she's a category four storm with winds up to 130 miles an hour. We're not going to be worried about her at all here. She is going to curve out to sea. Um, right now, it looks like she's going to barely miss Bermuda, but she will be heading up north and eventually towards Canada. But what about what's going on behind her? You've probably been on Facebook. You've been hearing about this system coming into the Gulf. What's going on behind Fiona? So let's take a look. We've got our spaghetti models plotted here behind her for what we're calling Invest 98L right now. And that's just what the National Hurricane Center calls an area of interest. So these are just different models plotting showing a track that where the system will eventually organize and move into the Caribbean. Um, that's just what they're thinking right now. So we're going to take a look at our major models. We've got the GFS in red and the Euro in blue, and they just show this general organization as it moved through the Caribbean and eventually into the Gulf of Mexico. So we are going to be watching this for you in the future for potential impacts as we head into next week. Again, not expecting anything right now. We're just going to watch this for potential impacts next week, and we will keep you informed. Right now, current temperatures area-wide, 91 in Elbleton, 91 in Washington. Again, everyone is feeling the heat out there. We're running about 8 degrees above average for this time of year. It is definitely not feeling like fall, more like false fall, if you ask me. So, do we got any relief on the way? Yes, there's a cold front coming down just in time for the weekend that's actually pulling Fiona out here off away and away from shore she's going to get out of here and we're going to get that dry cool weather again we're not expecting any rain showers with this cold front it's going to be one of those cold fronts that you'll barely notice you'll only notice when you wake up and you find that those temperatures have greatly cooled off so what about tonight tonight we're going to expect temperatures again about five degrees a little too warm 67 degrees for tonight with those clear skies moving into tomorrow another hot day but the good thing about it this should be the last time we see 90 degree temperatures for a long time. Moving into your seven day, we're going to start to see that relief on Friday morning. You're going to wake up to temperatures 56 degrees outside. It'll feel like real fall 
this time. Saturday, you couldn't ask for better. You're going to wake up to 54 degrees, and your dogs are going to be playing here in Sanford Stadium with a 0% chance of rain and temperatures in the lower 80s. We're going to keep that same story as we head through the weekend and the beginning of next week with temperatures riding out even into the upper 70s. I'm student meteorologist Malik Bryant. We're going to keep you tabbed right here. We're going to keep you updated on that tropical system as it makes its way and organizes into the Caribbean. And we'll keep you updated on more as soon as it comes, becomes available. Thank you for watching.